Aloha, ladies and gentlemen. It is the 28th of November. It's me, John Anolani Remus IV, sharing with you some more of my insights regarding hope and faith and the most important things in life, communication and soulmates. So I'll be reading off of my Facebook posts. Feel free to add me as a friend. We can elaborate more upon these subjects. So, you know, I think the most important thing for me is to be looking as nice as possible in order to impress and maybe even seduce a particular woman. But now it's the antithesis of that because I, I'm trying to discover my, you know, myself and my personality and become me. And I think that when that is complete, then I will be ready for a relationship with somebody because I am being myself and they happen to be attracted to me as a result of that, not a simple animalistic dance of trying to be courting or a, a woman, but rather uh, being in the spiritual realm of peace and harmony with my own existence and then being able to extend that to somebody else because I'm basically in love with myself. I'm in a loving frequency, uh, doing what I like to do, and, and and pursuing my own objectives in life. And by the way, those I believe are unique, and I believe they're distinct for everyone. So, in other words, I believe there are only two meant for e each other, and everyone's so different. But it's nice. It's nice, you know, to not be attached to anybody except you and your soulmate. That's why it might be a, a good idea uh, to to write something on your hand, write for her or for him, you know, write on your hand and that will suggest that you're, that any, you'll do anything for that soulmate, even if, you know, obviously if you, you're not with them, even if you don't know who they are, but just to just to believe that they actually are there, you know, and it's it's the, it's you know it's your destiny to to be n not alone in your life. So, you know, I've gone through various beliefs, beliefs like considering these things like chakra activation and Muslim and Christian concepts and and other self-help ideas, but I've come to this simple conclusion that that I'll do anything for my woman, my soulmate. And uh, I will do it by using light work, and and I will also use you know, kind of, what do you call them compatibility, you know, techniques uh, like like choosing them because they have similar standards for health uh, as as I do, and. What else? You know, there's this creative, self-organizing life force that that's there when I do this light work. It's quite remarkable, and you've got to try it. You know. Uh, let's see if there's anything else here. I just take a deep breath, relax while I'm going through my posts and picking up any uh, relevant insights here. Uh, you know, living in America, what what a magnificent country in which. Everyone exists peacefully because we agree on common laws, regardless of our different faiths. And, you know, let's return to sexuality and our soulmate. And instead of, like, overconsumption and uh, other hobbies um, that, that we, you know, we may have been conditioned to get involved with, uh, let's, let's try self-pleasuring and just just preparing our ourselves for our uh, our soulmate continuing on uh, you know if you're stressing out about this soulmate you know try try trying to use your human mind to find this soulmate and experience perfect synchronicity is uh, it hasn't worked for me and so in combination with some simple communication techniques like uh, like instead of Trying to trying to call, refer to everyone as a brother or sister, 
uh, rather, you know, consider their professional competence and, and judge them based off of that instead of trying to say, like, oh, that person's promiscuous or they're different from me or they have a different diet than me. Just just think of them not on their first name basis, but call them like Mr. or Mrs. And, and uh, think of them on, well, are they a decent uh, person to work with or work for? And in that case, then, you know, why, why have uh, anxiousness towards them if, say, they do something like drink alcohol or just something that you don't like? And instead of saying that they're, you know, lower class or, like, just, you know, bad, just say they're different, you know? And and so going along with this, it's it's that my future soulmate, you know, there is one for me, and she's my wife, and I will do what I need to pre to prepare for that woman. And um, you know, she's my inspiration. I take care of my body for her. Now what else? Um, some more techniques. So when upset, use either uh, fight or flight. Typically when, you know, I, in the past when I was upset, I might try to prolong an argument or debate or try and be right. But being right uh, may very well not have anything to do with, uh, you know, being right with another person, but rather being right with myself. So feeling good at all times, having control of my emotions, and in, in consideration of this, for instance, like if I get angry at someone, what I'll do is, instead of becoming confrontational using the, flight, the fight technique, I'll use flight and I'll walk away, even if it's a small thing. Uh, you know, or I'll, you know, I'll go for a jog, you know, get off some energy, get control of my emotions. Then maybe I'll go back and uh, try to revisit the situation when I feel comfortable and try texting them or trying to come to an agreement, but not uh, when there are emotions in the environment. Say your boss comes at you and he's really upset. Uh, tell him that you'll be willing to talk to him, uh, you know, when he when he's calm, you know. Uh, okay, so, you know, maintain a safe emotional distance from them, in, you know, including children. You know, call them, for example, Mr. John or Miss Mary uh, instead of their first name because if you get too close to someone, you can, you know, you can get angry at them or you can, you know, m more rapidly. And plus, this this joy, this experience of life, I, I really only want to share it with one person uh, at this point, and that's my soulmate, you know, and, and so what that entails is becoming as individual and empowered as possible by self, independent, uh, and then being with her so her and I can, you know, live our life to the fullest and not be, you know, not be tied to other people and you know sometimes this might work in a you know big family setting where everyone's helping each other out you know something to think about uh, just remember there's a difference between real family or biological family and spiritual family and uh, consider this quote, if there's somebody, if I think somebody is rude, then there must be a place in my life in which I am rude. Uh, and, and, and just be thankful for that mirror. Uh, visualize all you people you think they're enemies in light. You know, see them smiling and holding that sphere of brilliant, uh, brilliance of white light. Uh, okay. And, you know, you might think it's funny uh, to joke around, just say stupid things or be silly, but, you know, there's only so much time in the day, so tr try using that time to honor your values. And, you know, don't be afraid to be do it by yourself. Just 
alone. Because uh, it's, remember, it's all one being. Everywhere I look, it's me. Like when I go shopping, I look at every person and I say, well, that's me, that's me. You know, that's 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 the kind of feeling you get. That's this oneness, this unity consciousness that they talk about. Well, you know, first control your emotions to be in a good mood, then stretch out to others. Uh, but you know, remember to conserve that energy, especially for bedroom time for for either you or you and your soulmate. And uh, you know, think like a prince, think like a warrior. You know, be straight, be confident in in your beliefs, and you know, don't let anybody secretly sneak in with with you know their. Thank you.